Hello, today is Thursday, October 19th, 2017. I'm Sharon Haggading, and I'm here to share with you another ray of light. I'm coming to you from Acres for Art and Enlightenment, home of AwakeningLight.net and Red Dog Creations Art Studio. Well, happy new moon in Libra. It, uh, the moon was officially new at, uh, I believe it was at 12.12 Pacific time. So those of you in the Midwest at 10.12 this morning, Pacific time, but uh, it is not too late to set your intentions for the new moon. So finally, after two weeks of releasing, it's now time to bring to you. And I, it was so funny. I thought, well, well, it was one heck of a release. Let's, let's fill that vacuum, right? We now have fresh ground that we can reseed and bring to, at least me personally. So I uh, <laughs> drew the blinds a little bit. I had so much smoke going. It was hilarious. Um, I pulled out the sage that I've been using for a while here, pulled up my Palo Santo wood. And uh, the other thing that I did is I took some, some paper and I actually, I thought I'm going to use all nine squares as I started dividing the paper up. And so I pull, uh, tore it into nine nice squares, wrote on it my intentions. And uh, then what I did, you'll have to laugh, it's at Girardelli's little container here. Uh, in here are some ashes left over. And I put it on a fire safe surface. And as I went around and I used the, the sage that I had, smudged the house to release everything uh, that was remaining that needed to be released from this cycle. And then I realized that I really needed to complete, finish that bundle of sage, that it's now time to let that go. Uh, since I've been using that sage over these very interesting six or so months that I've been going through, maybe might have even been seven months, but at least six months that I've been using that bundle of sage, that now needs to be gone. So I added that to my little, my little tin. And then after I did that, I pulled out the Palo Santo wood. So sage is really wonderful for releasing, um, cleansing, clearing. Uh, Palo Santo, Santo Palo, I always get it wrong. I think it's Palo Santo wood. And burning that is a really wonderful way of bringing to you. So it's very important to release and then draw to. So I was doing the final release and then the drawing towards me with the, the, the Palo Santo and going around to those same spaces, opening closet doors, things such as that, and with, with, with the intent. I had smoke going, I had the exhaust fan going in the kitchen because I thought, really don't want the smoke detector going off in the middle of all this. So it was just this waft of smoke just to begin with. And so then I set up the, 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 Palo, the Palo Santo wood and then I took my scraps of paper, my, or not scraps, they were pieces of paper on which I had written my intentions of that which I choose to manifest uh, in the coming, with the coming new moon cycle as well as in the future for as long as these that I'm seeking to manifest are appropriate for me and in my best interest. And then I would burn each of those. So I had in here, again, on a fire safe, I had flames coming up here and I tried not to let it get too out of control. But a couple times I thought, glad I moved it out from away from the cupboards. And so it was, uh, I, I think I still smell of the smoke. And, uh, but I felt so cleansed after I did that. And then the uh, tarot spread that I pulled after I did all that, so the releasing, the drawing to me, um, so completing the cycle. And it was, I, I love this particular spread. I, I love so many of the spreads, but it was interesting to me because so much of what I'm seeking to manifest or where I also believe I've stepped into, they're showing up in the cards. So the emperor is that that strong and the sturdy and the powerful, uh, flexible strength of that giant sequoia. I'm calling it a giant sequoia because they're one of the most beautiful trees that I've ever had the ability to be near and around. And the mother of swords, and she is a teacher and she's filled with knowledge, but she also knows that the knowledge that she may not have, she can bring to her 
when it's necessary. The Three of Cups at the top. You can't do this alone. So who are your partners? What are those relationships that you are either maintaining or bringing to you to help with the next round of manifestations that you're making? The Four of Pentacles on that Western horizon is, again, I, I tend, those of you who know me, in fact, I had a friend <laughs> say, I'm using sarcasm right now, Sharon. Uh, I can get a little tense and forget to relax sometimes. And that was another thing that I need to relax more. I need to remember to have more fun, more joy, more laughter and reminding of the interconnectedness of everything, but don't get too uptight. Keep everything mo moving because things need to flow. You can't let things not flow or else you basically you need to let things flow. But if things are too tense, you're going to snap the belts and things stop flowing. And then the high priestess. Uh, and again, having been born in the year of the tiger, I always relate to the tiger here. But she is just this all-knowing, this mystical interconnectedness with other realms, with other dimensions, with uh, otherworldly, whether it's entities or beings or past lives or whatever it is, is this high priestess. And isn't it interesting that she's with the moon and the moon is in the midnight position, so our new moon. And she has everything at her, at her beck and call. When she needs it, it's there for her. She can call on it. And she is also the guardian of Pachamama and making sure that Gaia Pachamama has everything she needs as we go forward. So think about how flammable you want to be <laughs> if you want to do something very physical uh, during your new moon ceremony. Have fun with it. Make it yours. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I send you blessings, love, and light as you celebrate the new moon today.